So this is the kind of smoking hot verbiage. Initial equals great I am. And uh, the beginning of a word. Like the first letters, of course. Your initials. To initial something. Um, and then dig into the roots. Uh, get more gold on that. In idiom. You know, from the Latin. Just like beginning parallels I am. But it's just too perfect. So this equals great I am. And when you first get the Eureka... So this is I am at the front, in, and then you add it up, oh, 21, 21, that's 42. You need another 9 to make great, and there it is. These five letters equal 51 equals great. Great I am equals gematria, and this is like the beginning. <laughs> Initial, existing or occurring at the beginning. <laughs> Sounds like Jesus, the great I am. At the letter, at the beginning of a word. It's amazing. So 23 at the beginning of the word initial, the beginning of the word word, and the beginning of the word beginning. Beginning uh, picks it up right, uh, first four letters here is 23. 12 plus, yeah. So there's your 23, I am, I am, I am, great I am. And on and on, the floodgates. So, very special, these I-N words. God is inimitable. So good or unusual as to be impossible to copy. <laughs> yeah, that's God. Um, unique is a triple I am construct. And then I love the fact you can find I-A-M in there. This whole thing will be a... Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. In fact, if you're really good, you'll do this. You'll take the I A M verbatim, and then you'll notice that there's four plus twos left over, which is four I Ams. So overall, you have five I Ams in this design. Um, and uh, then the rest of the letters divide by three. Inimitable. And you can just sort of balance out the teams at your leisure. Ay, ay, ay. Find all the personal names of God in there.